Inside the Chamber is brought to you by presenting sponsor, Naperville Bank and Trust. Welcome to Inside the Chamber. I'm Kaylin Risbold, President and CEO of the Naperville Area Chamber of Commerce. And today we're talking all about remote working and remote managing. I'm joined by Elliot Hershick, who's the General Manager of Supporting Strategies. Elliot is also one of our ambassadors and he's been working in this remote managing uh, scenario for quite a while, is that right? Yes, yes it is since we opened almost six years ago. It's We've been um, entirely remote, and it was definitely a, a, a new skill to learn. Now, what made you do that six years ago? Um, we, well, life happens, and we got to a point where we wanted more control over our destiny, and so we branched out on our own and, and purchased our Supporting Strategies franchise, and it turned out to be a great de decision. Uh, we've met people like you and, and other members of the chamber and the small business community throughout Chicagoland. And so uh, how big is your staff? And then I want to get right into remote managing because it, it is different managing workers remote than it is when you're in the office together. Uh, it, it definitely is. The, the current staff is uh, two teams, each one with a manager and um, between them, they have 12 associates, and we currently are actually looking for more. So if, if we know uh, accountants who are looking for uh, part-time day gigs, uh, please reach out. We'd love to talk to you. Yeah, so, so how do you support your managers, and, and how do you train your managers to support their staff then as well? Well, uh, there's a lot of constant communication. Um, just because we're not in the same location, as, as a matter of fact, now the office is across three time zones uh, because we're, we're looking for quality people and because we are remote, we can find them wherever we, we find them. They don't have to just be down the street. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's all kinds of communication that has to go on though, right? We have the the weekly formal manager meeting where we get to talk about what's going on in the business. And then we have the ambush call, right? The, the just, I'm calling to see how you're doing today. What's going on? Did, did your son pass the driver's exam? Kind of conversations. Things you would have in an office environment where you would just run into someone walking down the hall the manager has to create those interactions so that, that conversations are actually two-way conversations rather than just the manager telling someone what to do, did you do this? Um, so there has to be business conversations and there has to be personal conversations. And again, I think it's incumbent on the manager to create those opportunities. It's kind of like creating the culture, right? I like how you liken it to hallway talk of we do care about more than just, you know, the productivity at work. We care about the whole person. But how do you do that from a screen? Is it just by encouraging different questions, um, icebreakers? What are some tips for that? Um, the, the managers we have are actually better at the ice, typical icebreaker than, than I am. I, I typically start the conversation with things like, Here's what went wrong in my day yesterday, and here's how we can all learn from it. And, and by, as you said, creating a culture where I can admit my mistakes, I think we foster an environment where other people are more willing to come forward and say, you know, I wasn't quite sure how to do this. And that's how we all improve. You, you, you have to be willing to be out there. So how many touch points, how are you doing the communication with your staff? So here at the chamber, when we went all virtual, we ended up having our senior staff meetings every day and all mm -hmm. staff meetings once a week. Um, I'm now pulled back from that because I felt like that was almost too much. There's never too much communication, but I don't know. I'm trying to find the right balance. Any ideas? Well, yeah, trial and error. Um, we've, we've settled on for a while now. Each, each manager has a weekly meeting with their team. 
Um, I have a weekly man meeting with the managers. Um, and then we have the monthly all employee meeting, affectionately known as the fireside chat, so that I get to talk to people. Um, because the, the managers have all the fun now. They, they get to work with, with their team, but I never do. And, and so we, and, and it gives the managers a break from having to come up with an agenda, at least occasionally. Um, we also do the monthly virtual happy hour where, where no work talk is allowed. It's all about what are you doing this weekend? What's been going on? How'd your, how'd your husband's surgery go? Um, all those, those interpersonal things that it's, it's easy to overlook in, in the press of work. Now, are you doing this all via video chat? I know one thing that we just started doing here is people would call in as we're going different places, but have their cameras off. And I think it's so important to create that, you know, culture when you get to see each other a little bit. So are you doing just video chat or are you doing, you know, we use Microsoft Teams here at the chamber. Um, what are the different ways of communicating you are working with your employees? Um, well, I get, I don't know if it's old fashioned or not, but I pick up the cell phone and I call people. Uh, we, we do an ambush via Teams, you know, where you can just hit the phone icon or, or just start a chat. Um, we use email. Uh, and again, we have the formal video chats and some, we're more fluid on whether video is on or off. Uh, sometimes people are, are having a, a bad hair day and, and don't want to be on video. Um, and we allow for that. So, but sometimes I give them a warning that I'm going to be on video and I'd like to see all of you. So people, people know to, to spruce up a little bit or, or not, depending on how <laughs> they're feeling that day. Yeah, you don't see my sweatpants on under my nice top here. So that's too funny. Um, so I think communication is key. And I mean, that's what I found. Even in my, my job where I was pr uh, prior to here, I was managing remotely. And I think that for me, you just have to be clear with expectations, right? Because if you don't meet your expectations, you're disappointment, disappointed. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where the disappointment comes in is when expectations aren't met. And I feel like over communicating is really necessary in a virtual environment. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was the only one who had kind of felt that way or if that's what you've, you've done it for longer than I have of mm -hmm. can you over communicate with people that you're not physically seeing? Yeah, uh, I understand how you get to the phrase over communicate because there, there aren't natural opportunities circling back to the hallway conversation. So again, it's, it's incumbent on the manager to create those opportunities. I don't think it's really over communicating. It's just making sure you're replacing what we were used to in the, in the brick and mortar environment. When you, you know, two people show up at the fridge in the, in the break room to get their lunch at the same time and you just strike up a, a short conversation because you're together. Um, you've got to say, okay, I'm not going to run into someone at, at the break room, but you're, you're going to say, uh, okay, I've got a few minutes. I'm going to check in on this person today. And tomorrow it's someone else's turn in the barrel. Um, and you, you know, that's, that's the personal side. I, I like to, I've stolen the phrase, you have to have coin in the bank with people so that when, when business needs arise, they're going to respond positively. If, if all you do is talk business and say, where are you on this? Where are you on this? You, you're going to, you run the risk of getting a lackluster response when, when something happens, right? A, a quality problem is signing two new clients on the same day and they both want to start in three days. And, and now there's a bit of extra effort to, to get those done because it's not staggered. If, if you don't have that coin in the bank with people, it's, it, it becomes dicey. Yeah, so maybe it's not over communicating as much as it is being intentional, being intentional to make it personal and professional. Right, exactly. I'm glad one of us has a good vocabulary. <laughs> Well, I, I also want to talk about like productivity, you know, how do you manage productivity? There used to be, and I'm not sure it was ever really successful, you know, the management by walking around, 
Mm -hmm. um, and you can't do that virtually, which might be a good thing in some instances, but how do you work with managing productivity and checking in on the staff? Well, we, we use a proprietary piece of software that is task management. Okay. So when we onboard a client, we create a list of tasks that we're going to do for that client. And, and we set up a schedule, whether it's a daily, weekly, monthly task, um, the, the, the managers and the associate can see the due dates. And, and so the, the object is to not let anything turn into a red bell. Uh, that means it's, it's overdue in the system and, and there's, there's ways to avoid that mostly by paying having the associate pay attention to what they need to do that day. And if something's not gonna get done, they can communicate and, and adjust it into the future or, or just let their manager know, hey, I need something from the client. I don't have it yet, so I'm on it, but I'm not gonna get this done on, on this day. And again, that, that's part of that culture that allows the associates to, to, sit, to be proactive with their manager to say, hey, I'm on it, but this isn't getting done today. I've checked with the customer two, three times. They're busy, they're just not gonna give it to me. So everyone's okay with it being late because we all know why, as opposed to it just felt, I just didn't do it. Um, so we want that environment. Uh, we want good communication with the clients. We need communication is all around because we're not in the client's office either. So you're working on managing the tasks rather than just their time. You know, it's not the butts and seats, it's how much can get done. Right. That that's been the way, it, the way since since day one. It's I have to do this. I've been trained. I've worked with my manager, so I know what it looks like. Because in in the even in the world of video, through screen share, we can look over someone's shoulder, and and make sure they know how to do the task, and the documentation is in place, so that anyone can pick up a task and follow it by by using the documentation, the how to. And it, uh, it gets done, right? You, you, have, you, you hire diligent people that you trust. If, if you don't trust them to some degree, why did you hire them in the first place? Awesome. Well, any last tips or tricks for those looking to manage uh, or work remote? Um, get a good work environment where you're comfortable. Um, the internet, you get a good internet signal right? In the technology is great when it works. And, and when it doesn't, everyone has problems. So make a good environment for yourself where you can focus um, and make sure your family knows when you're in that environment, you're busy. Because, you know, you know in our house, the, everyone knows, un unless someone's bleeding, I'm, I'm working. All right. Well, thank you for joining us and sharing those uh, good ideas for how we can be more successful and productive, but also really have a great culture at our workplaces. And I think that's important as well. So thank you for joining us. Thank you and for having me. Great to chat. Stay with us. We'll be back with more Inside the Chamber. Inside the Chamber is brought to you by presenting sponsor, Naperville Bank and Trust. Naperville Bank and Trust has the expertise, knowledge, and experience to help you reach your business goals. They provide all the tools that you would ask uh, that we as a growing business need of a bank. Most importantly to me, it's a, a great personal relationship we have with Tom and John and, and our bankers. It was the best thing we could have done in banking. And banking can be very cold. What the bank brings to us is, is that warm feeling when you come into the bank and people say, hi, Greg. It's about being part of the community again, about being a name again, about having credit for who your business is instead of just being, well, instead of just being a number. Naperville Bank and Trust, bring it home.
Inside the Chamber is brought to you by presenting sponsor, Naperville Bank and Trust. Welcome back to Inside the Chamber. I'm here with Megan Lynch, who is the Director of Corporate Relations at North Central College, uh, my alma mater. I got my graduate degree at North Central College. So thank you for joining us and tell us a little bit about what you do at North Central. Thanks, Caitlin, for having me. I'm delighted to be joining you via Zoom for this. Um, so my role at North Central College is all about connecting the business community to campus. And before I dive into that, I want to share a little bit of background for those who may not be familiar with North Central College. We really are Naperville's college, located in the heart of downtown. And we've, uh, we were founded in 1861, and building on a tradition of over 150 years of excellence, we're continuing to grow and build by adding new programs like engineering and health sciences. We have nearly 3,000 students across 65 undergraduate and graduate programs. And we're really known for inspired instruction from our faculty and helping our students realize their direction in life and exceed their personal best. We're currently welcoming students back to campus this fall, doing it all, of course, safely, following CDC guidelines and state guidelines. And we're excited to have our students back with us. So in my role, I really work on bridge building and connecting businesses with campus. I'm a one-stop shop to help companies find their way around our campus community. And that might include talent pipeline development, recruiting for interns or full-time jobs, uh, creating custom partnerships with our career development office to recruit, brand exposure and sponsorship, strategic partnerships for programs like engineering, and also graduate programs. So I wanted to put in a plug, we offer a hometown tuition discount for Naperville Area Chamber of Commerce members and their employees. Uh, they'll receive 20% tuition discount off of select graduate programs. We also rent our facilities for meetings. So to learn more about any of that, you can check out our website, which is www.northcentralcollege.edu slash corporate dash engagement. Uh, so that's a little bit about me and my role. Awesome. And thank you for so many of the wonderful connections, even just here um, between North Central and the Chamber, um, getting some North Central students on our new college student advisory boards. I'm really excited to kind of delve into those relationships as well. But speaking of the board, you are on our board of directors in our third year. So tell us a little bit about how you got on the board of directors and kind of what you've learned and enjoyed about the experience. Absolutely. So North Central College, as Naperville's hometown college, has been a member of the chamber for over 50 years. And I was really delighted. I'm five years into my role at North Central. I was delighted three years ago to join the board of directors to represent North Central. And uh, I found it to be a very rewarding way to connect with business and community leaders, it really is the place to be, to be connected with the Naperville community. So uh, I found exciting ways to get plugged in, including through the Business Works Committee, which is the advocacy group through the chamber, and then uh, chairing the new Corporate Social Responsibility Committee, which was actually a brainchild of Kaylin, uh, for making sure that we're telling the stories of Naperville companies that are giving back to their communities and making an impact on our environment and a sustainable path forward. So uh, those are a couple ways I've gotten more plugged in. And thank you for chairing that committee. The Corporate Social Responsibility Committee kicked off in January and just continually impressed by what you've done. And I'm excited to see where all it will go um, and what all you do with it. But a little bit more about you personally, tell us about something. Do you have any interesting hobbies or kind of what do you do in your free time? So I love any excuse to be outside. So for me that, typically involves running in the mornings, but I'm also really enjoying hiking in the forest preserves and going on walks with my two young kids, uh, especially during uh, quarantine and you know all of the challenges related to COVID-19. It's been so refreshing to be outside in nature. Awesome, well, thank you again for being on our board of directors and for sharing a little bit of your time with us today. Sure, my pleasure. Thanks for uh, having me. Absolutely, stay with us. We'll be back with more Inside the Chamber. Inside the Chamber is brought to you by presenting sponsor, Naperville Bank and Trust. Naperville Bank and Trust has the expertise, knowledge, and experience to help you reach your business goals. They provide all the tools that you would ask uh, that 
We as a growing business need of a bank. Most importantly to me, it's a, a great personal relationship we have with Tom and John and, and our bankers. It was the best thing we could have done in banking. And banking can be very cold. What the bank brings to us is, is that warm feeling when you come into the bank and people say, hi, Greg. It's about being part of the community again, about being a name again, about having credit for who your business is instead of just being, well, instead of just being a number. Naperville Bank and Trust, bring it home. NCTV 17's news team brings you coverage that is specific to Naperville, accurate and up to date on the latest developments in our community. These stories keep us informed and inspired. These stories bring us together. If you value your local nonprofit television station, please make a donation so NCTV 17 can continue its mission of telling local stories on air and online. Inside the Chamber is brought to you by presenting sponsor, Naperville Bank and Trust. Welcome back to Inside the Chamber. I'm here with Lindsay Ewing, who's the director of our programs and events here at the Naperville Area Chamber of Commerce. And we are here talking about how we want to get back into the swing of things with our golf outing. Lindsay, talk to us about our upcoming golf outing. Yeah, we're so excited that we're able to bring this back. Um, I know we had to push it back a little bit traditionally in June. Um, but we're, we're really excited. It's gonna be a little bit different this year. Um, so generally it's a shotgun start um, and we're not able to do that this year. So what we're doing is everybody um, is able to register on our website and then they select um, a specific tea time for their foursome um, and then they will go through the course that way. So everybody's able to sort of distance themselves a little bit. Um, another change that we're doing is we're not gonna be having the um, large gathering at the end um, because Obviously, we cannot have large gatherings. Um, so what we're going to do um, is have some food and bath staggered throughout the different um, holes um, so that people are able to enjoy that as they go through. And we'll, of course, have a beverage cart going around. <laughs> well, that sounds exciting. Um, any other new sponsors or any other new changes upcoming this year? Yeah, we've got a really great presenting sponsor this year, Busey Bank. We're so excited to have them on board um, and really just want to thank them for all of their um, support and their gracious um, sponsorship. So how does it work at the holes? I know we have different hole sponsors. Um, as we go through, you said there is gonna be some food and drink on the holes as we're going through the course? Yeah, so everybody um, is gonna have the opportunity to do whatever they want at their holes. So some are gonna have food and beverage, others are gonna have um, different contests going on there or different raffles. Um, some are gonna be handing out collateral, uh, making sure that you you know get informed on their business. Uh, so it's gonna be really cool. And then we also have um, this year a spectator pass so um, for people that don't golf, um, they've got the opportunity then to kind of hang out outside at the clubhouse, um, cheer people on as they pass. Um, and then there's also going to be um, some food and beverage that they can enjoy on those surrounding holes as well. Awesome. Well, can you give us some more information about where, when, and how to sign up? Yes. So it is um, September 14th at Springbrook. Um, go to our website and register, um, naperville.net, and then you can go to programs and events. You'll find the link on there to register. Um, and then, like I mentioned, you select the tea time that you want or the spectator pass. Um, there's a few different options there. Uh, and of course, if you have any questions or have any issues registering, you can always reach out to me. Awesome. Thank you so much. And I look forward to uh, being at the golf outing and seeing many of you Monday, September 14th at Springbrook. Awesome. With us, we'll be back for more. Inside the Chamber is brought to you by presenting sponsor, Naperville Bank and Trust. NCTV 17's news team brings you coverage that is specific to Naperville, accurate 
and up to date on the latest developments in our community. These stories keep us informed and inspired. These stories bring us together. If you value your local nonprofit television station, please make a donation so NCTV 17 can continue its mission of telling local stories on air and online. Inside the Chamber is brought to you by presenting sponsor, Naperville Bank and Trust. Welcome back. We're now joined by Kelly Kaisers, our Director of Marketing and Communications here at the Chamber for our Marketing Minute. Thanks, Kaylin. Social media is the topic today. It's so important to business. In fact, 91% of businesses in 2019 are using social media to market and get their message out. 2020 is probably looking to be even more so. Are you posting the right kind of content to maximize your social exposure? If not, I put a few tips together to keep you on track. Always have an eye-catching photo or graphic in that social post. Make sure the copy of your first line is grabbing attention. Encourage engagement by asking a question. Add a call to action. What's the next step for those customers or clients to do? Use a hashtag to attract new fans. And respond to all comments. Show your audience you care and encourage more engagement by interacting. Keep on top of these things and I think that you're gonna find that your market message will get out there. Well, thank you, Kelly, and thank all of you for joining us for Inside the Chamber. See you next time. Inside the Chamber is brought to you by presenting sponsor, Naperville Bank and Trust.